show you a series of exercises that you can do to strengthen and rehabilitate your shoulder. If you have a serious injury, you should first check with your physician or physical therapist. But many of these exercises are commonly prescribed by physical therapists to improve mobility and strength in the shoulders. If you've been to a physical therapist, you might have a band that looks something like this. And you can use this or you can use any kind of resistance tube. You need to be able to secure it to a door or to a doorknob. Make sure you choose a door that opens away from you so that it doesn't accidentally open and fling the resistance tube at you. So some means of doing it are to have a little knot and you can slip it over a doorknob. More secure and the way I like to do it is to put the knot through the door jam and then pull it through. I'm actually going to be using a resistance tube with a handle that I have secured. I have an anchor here, but if you have anything narrow that you can tie in a knot, like an old tie, and stick the knot on the other side of the door so that you can loop your resistance tube through, that works well too. So the bottom line is you need some kind of tubing that you can secure against a door. So the first exercise we're going to do is an external rotation. So I'm going to stand sideways, the working arm is farther away from the door. And you may want to put a small towel or something in between your elbow and your body. The idea is not to have your elbow pushed directly against your body, but to have it a few inches out and not to move it. So the elbow doesn't move and you're going to open up your hand and bring it back. This is the motion you're trying to do here. The farther away you stand from where you're anchored, the harder it is. So if it's too hard, you move in a little bit closer. If it's easy, you move away. And then you have the internal rotation. I'm going to demonstrate with my other hand rather than turning around. So for this one, you're using the hand that's closer to the door. And the idea is the same. You'll probably stand a little farther away. You're going to open your hand towards the door. The elbow stays close to the side of your body and pull it back. So you want to do about eight to 10 of each of these exercises. And you want to do each exercise about two or maybe even three times. Okay, the next exercise I'm going to do is to pull down. So I'm going to move my anchor higher up to the top of the door. And now I'm going to stand away so that my arm is at shoulder height and I'm going to pull my arm down to my side with a fairly straight arm. Make sure that you keep the shoulder down, pulling your shoulder blades down your back as you pull this arm down. For the lateral pull down, I'm going to stand sideways. Again, it's still at the top of the door and I'm right in line with it. I'm going to pull my arm down. Now I'm going to move the tube to the bottom of the door. So it's anchored at the bottom of the door. And this will allow me to lift my arm up with resistance. I'm only coming up to about shoulder height. I'm going to do them first with my palm down. And then I'm going to rotate my palm forward, thumb up. I also want to be able to lift forward. So facing my anchor, palm down to start, I'm going to lift up. And 
and then palm facing in, you're going to lift up. Then I want to be able to do an overhead press. So I'm going to stand close to the door. It's still on the bottom. I'm going to take this resistance tube behind my back. And I'm going to push my arm up so that my bicep is close to my ear. And the final one, I'm going to go back to that middle range. And for this one, I'm actually going to hold both parts of my resistance tube. You could do one arm at a time. And I'm going to hold my arms straight up in front of me. And with long arms, I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together and bring them back. I'm going to do this with my palms facing in. And then I can repeat it with my palms down. So that's a whole series of shoulder exercises that you can do. Do not work through any pain. A little bit of muscle discomfort is fine, but if you have any kind of shooting pain, you don't want to be doing that, and you should seek advice, seek medical advice.